As much west, we're standing on the street in Surrey, B.C., the heart of Surrey, actually a place called Wally, B.C., and we're standing outside a place called the Java Joint. Now, the Java Joint is kind of significant in the uh, local independent punk music scene here in Surrey. In a few seconds, we're going to go in and show you why. This is where the, the all ages scene is happening, is in Surrey at the Java Joint here. It's kind of hard on us, us kids, too. Yeah, we're the ones who support the music industry. We're the ones buying the CDs, buying the merchandise, and we don't get, get to go see the, our favorite bands, like, because they're always playing in pubs. This is the front room of the Java Joint. I'm here with Murray, the owner of the Java Joint. This here is Kyle Richardson. Kyle runs Spawner Records as well as plays bass in the punk band Complete. This guy sitting down here, minding his own business, is John. He's the lead singer of Complete. Now, gentlemen, we are all here at the Java Joint. Perhaps you can explain to me, Kyle, why this place is significant to uh, someone like yourself. Significant to myself because it supports my own band and supports all the rest of the bands in the local scene here. Uh, it's been going what for about two years, three years now? Four, four, four years, years now. now. There you go, four years. And uh, it's just the best place for all the independent bands to meet, greet, and uh, just get more shows right. and uh, network together. Is there any other place like this in the Lower Mainland? Not that I know of. Not, not that I know of that is as successful as the Java Joint here in Surrey. <laughs> inspired you to sort of open up uh, your, uh, your, your establishment to uh, punk bands and independent bands and the like? Well, well basically, we're, we're out in Surrey here, and a lot of the scene is, uh, in independent, is punk. So uh, it just was natural progression to, to end up that way, and, you know, that's the way it worked out. Right, right. Obviously, for you to do this as a private, small businessman, there has to be a, a bottom line for you. It's obviously been profitable for you to... To have the bands come in before? I, I wouldn't say it's been profitable. I mean, I've been doing this four years and I'm still working 16 hour days. Murray puts on lots, lots of other bands besides punk. He, he holds, you know, it's open to any bands. And uh, I network with lots of other bands, you know, such as, you know, even the Malchicks I got, shirt on right here, even the Malchicks I got, um, their ska band, you know, they play these venue, venues too. Um, same with you have a poetry night, you have a yeah. open jam night. So it's not just punk rock, right? It's the whole independent, I guess, scene for people like Joe Keithley to come down, you know, total legend <laughs> for me and for, I'm sure, lots of other guys come down, do a spoken word and so on. Um, for anybody just to come down and, and chill out and hang out and have a safe place to do it all. There's probably a lot of, uh, you know, punk fans out in the Lower Mainland who don't have a chance to maybe go into the city check out a show right. and this well, is their chance to do it well punk has always been i think kind of a suburban kind of scene uh as long as i remember um it's always come from the suburbs kids in the suburbs uh always you know struggling to get out and wanting you know more excitement or whatever and uh nothing else to do in the suburbs but pick up a guitar and play right if this place wasn't here i'm sure a lot of other bands will agree that you know, they wouldn't have it. They'd be playing in their basement, maybe trying to scrape together a few bar shows or, you know, playing in a basement basement somewhere or whatever. Um, it's a tremendous help to everyone. Uh, you know, it's not just a place just for the bands. Like, it's a safe place for the kids out here to hang out to, too. 
instead of, you know, hanging out on the street, you know, around 7-Eleven or, you know, right. messing around. <laughs> Those guys are, uh, it's not usually like this. <laughs> They're usually very calm and collective. West from the Java Joint in Wally, BC, here for our impromptu punk show. And who should be hanging out at the Java Joint but Nardwar, the human serviette. Nardwar, how you doing, man? Chris, I am just totally surprised. Oh, my God, Chris. I mean, the retreads right here is Rob. Hi, Rob. Hi, Nardwar. You're from the band, the retreads, and I, you just showed me something totally amazing. The retreads, your drummer is called Sandy, right? It's Sandy Hazard. And what happened? What did you tell me about the band Pretty Boy Floyd? What's the punk retreads connection? He was in a metal band that sold their name for 40 grand. To the L.A. Pretty Boy Floyd, but show me what he looked like. Oh, my God. Lovely, eh? Sandy That's Hazard. metal. That, Sandy Hazard. The punk metal collection. And oh my god, there's Kyle from Spawner Records. And Kyle's putting on this whole thing tonight at the Java sure. Joint in Wally, British Columbia, Canada. And what do you have here? I have here a picture of uh, Tommy Thacker from Gob. Oh my god, another metal connection. Tommy. Grade 8. Uh, just after the Molly Crew concert, looks like. Which you slept overnight to get tickets for. And another and another <laughs> great thing is Kyle put out this great compilation. Let's hope these are radio friendly. And one of the bands on this compilation is BNU, brand new unit. And we have Jinx from Brand New Unit. And Jinx, what is the connection between this CD and that picture you are showing right there? Well, in the first CD, Gob was on the first Bonner Records release. Brand new is on this record release. And Tom's a good friend of mine. And this is back when he used to play in Skid Row. <laughs> this is Tom of Gob, Celebrity Roast. So all you punkers out there thinking that metal is not important, these are the roots of metal at the Java joints. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do. <laughs> 